What is up, everybody? It's easy. Easy Street Gaming. First video in a while. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Had the minor event. <coughs> Sorry, I almost died. Had the minor event. Man, what an awesome event that is. Just turned Town Hall 11 after, I think it's about three years. Three long, grooving years of basically playing... 15 hours a day. I'm gonna say 15, but it's probably more like 16. <laughs> playing, playing too much. Finally make it to Town Hall 11. Uh, I, I believe I'm level one here. In this video, I'm gonna be several different levels. One, two, three. This right here is actually Terminator. Just join the clan. I have, I got a nice story to tell you about Terminator later on, and, and a, a warning to anyone else that wants to do what happened to Terminator. Pisses me off. Uh, Anyway, he comes into the clan and he is an expert at these minor attacks. So I decided I'm going to try them out. I just got level three miners when I was in Town Hall 10. Uh, if you remember, they just got a buff in Town Hall 10. So you can get him to level three. Got him to level three just as I turned to Town Hall 11. So now we'll be working vigorously for the next month to try to get my laboratory up. It takes me about a month to do anything. So I uh, started doing the minor attacks and man, they think they're awesome attacks. They are they're definitely back as a, as an elite attack in Clash of Clans. If, if you if you haven't used them yet, um, now you notice he stopped at 97%. He's trying to keep his trophy level the same. So instead of just taking the three stars and, and constantly moving up and having to drop trophies, he just kind of tries to stay the same by by not taking the whole three stars. He gets all the loot. Now this attack here, I, I recorded each one of these attacks, uh, that I had so many to choose from, so I, I recorded each one of these attacks for a specific reason. This right here had a, had a nice little combination, put the freeze spell right on the eagle artillery, right when it was about to start going off, and the hog riders jumped onto it, I think this is the one. It might be the one. <laughs> Uh, anyway, the, if it's not this one, it's the next one. Hog Riders jumped right onto it. Here it is. Free spell. Here comes the Hog Riders. Got the got the Queen. Got the Eagle. Hogs go onto it. This is in Town Hall 11 using Hog Riders. Uh, now, if you have looked at all the stats like I have, Hog Riders are actually pretty beastly. Uh, it, when, once you get them up to the to max level, mine are only level six, so they get even tougher than what I have. And, and I mean if you look at like the bowlers as far as their hit points and uh, their damage per second The hog riders are definitely stronger troops yet the bowlers seem to be such a more popular troop And I know why because the bowlers don't go for defenses only so they're not as exposed As these as these hog riders are because the hog riders are gonna run out in front of everything else and just take a beating from everything But anyway had the minor event so the, the miners were really cheap and uh, I, I was building an army for about 120,000 elixir, which is which is really cheap. And uh, was able to get five levels on the uh, five levels on the warden, uh, a level on the on the king, and three Teslas done. That's a damn good event for for uh, for someone to be able to get all that accomplished. And I actually still did things other than just play Clash, which I'm not down. I'm not the guy that's that likes to post up get a life crap because um if you're sitting on your couch playing clash then uh, then uh amen and hallelujah that means you're not out in the sun killing yourself <laughs> there's no need to do that all the time so yeah this is a great attack i wanted to show this because you don't always have to be perfect and this is, was a giant mistake that i made and i do this all the time i'm not a perfect attacker um, anyone who's watched the channel knows that I, I, I stumble into three stars more than I plan for them. <laughs> and uh, I actually was trying to freeze the back end Inferno and I, I think I panicked and I freeze the front Inferno. And just kind of got lucky to get the three star after that. Because if you freeze the front Inferno, especially if you freeze the front Inferno and it comes back on you like this one does. I mean I think this one comes back out of the freeze. It does. So now both Infernos are, are, are still up. The freeze is gone. Now, one thing I did like to do, though, is I, I'm bringing 10 Hog Riders in with these Miners. I've also got three Skeleton Spells. And those three Skeleton Spells, those are giant assets. If you haven't used them yet, uh, try to get in the habit of using them. You can use them in so many different ways. I've put all three Skeleton Spells outside the walls. 
and just let them all build up to where they were outside of any defenses. They weren't getting shot, and then they just kept on pumping out the skeletons, pumping out. Before you know it, you have 30 or 40 skeletons running around the outside of the base, just plowing through all these trash buildings. Or you can put them in individual compartments inside the base. Uh, you can put them on top of the queen. And uh, if, you, if you put them on top of the queen, better have a rage spell because she'll just pluck them away if you don't. But uh, they, there's a lot of different uses for them. They don't trigger traps, so you don't have to worry about the spring traps or the bombs or anything for them. Um, you know, it's, it can be detrimental if you're using them with the witch because they don't protect the witch as far as taking care of any of those traps. But um, was real really enjoyed the, this, these attacks. These attacks were miners and hog riders, and I would switch up and put a couple of uh, put a couple wizards in there sometimes. Put a couple of Valkyries in there sometimes. I'm using a couple little troops. Uh, to just to clear out different buildings and to help out with the clan castle troops <clears throat> Miners don't shoot up in the air. They don't throw those those shovels at anyone uh, The canary doesn't help uh, So you ha so you really need something really the only thing that can shoot any air troops out of the sky are, is the queen So if she ends up going somewhere away from the, the, the miners then you're in big trouble so you know, it's a good idea to it's a good idea to have something else in there. Now this is Terminator and got another attack from him. <laughs> I just thought that this was a great base. I call this the new base. If you're gonna try to protect your anything, it doesn't matter what it is. Yes, you center the dark elixir, but you don't put four elixirs in the middle of the base. You spread that out into four different corners of the base. That way they have to 100% your base to get all four of them. Instead of plowing through the base, getting to the core, and they've got exactly what you're trying to keep them away from. Um, someone needs to tell this to um, Avatigra, whatever his name is, from Arrow Force. Noob. So that was our noob attack of the day. Uh, Term was e easily took all the elixir, and and really, if you look, he still got 186,000 left. So th this thing was was stacked anyway. So someone has not been checking their base very well. They wanted to put all the elixir in the core and forget about their base for a week, and they let it stack all up. He's probably going to come back from his four or five day hiatus and have ten attacks, all for about five or six hundred thousand apiece. Whoops. So here's Terminator, another attack, and I uh, wanted to just say a few words about uh, what happened to him. I'm sure he's not going to be too thrilled about me um, spreading his dirty laundry around, but we won't get into it too much. But he had, his clan had what we call in my clan the uh, Swank Apocalypse. Swank Apocalypse, for those of you that don't know, is we had a young man in our clan that worked so hard to get co-leader. And once he finally did, he got pissed at another player in the clan, and he systematically kicked every single person in the clan out. Which made them have to endure the misery of Global for half the day before we got him all back in the clan. Well, he had something very similar happen, where he was the leader of a very, very good clan. And they were called Ultimate Goal. We have several videos of him from uh, probably about a year ago in, in the channel, so go check it out. Awesome clan. Well, he was the leader for a long time. He was getting run down, so he gave another player, leader, who then systematically kicked everyone out in the clan and closed it. So we have a thing that we're going to start doing. We will Google your name, find out where you live, and send your address to every single person in the clan that you just kicked out after three years. <laughs> I don't know what else to do, because it's, it's, a, it's a frustrating thing to be part of a group and then have one little punk kid get upset and kick everyone out. And you know it's a kid because adults don't do this because we're adults and we don't. Um, <laughs> and yes, we're talking about being adults playing a game, so shut up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, some, sometimes other people's misfortunes are your fortunes. He came to our clan at the best time, um, been a huge asset for us. Help me make this video right right away. He was in the clan for a couple of days. Okay, so did a couple live attacks. We're gonna kind of switch gears off the minor event, which is already over because I suck, and the minor event it was already over two days ago. But um, I'm busy. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm busy. You can hear it in my voice. I don't sleep. I just work and do clash. Uh, I do AC work. And I live in Atlanta, and it's damn hot here. 
and everyone calls me all the time want me to fix their garbage but enough of that so switching gears from the miners this is back on the builder base and I know that a lot of people have been talking about the builder base uh, and you'll see here I'm builder hall 5 attacking a builder hall 6 that's all I see and I'm not complaining um, I, I don't mind the challenge. I can still three star not as not like I was on Builder Hall 5 with level 10 baby dragons They are just such a powerful troop that you can overcome even even build hall 6 but if They are careful and they watch the replays and they move and they move stuff around They can make it really really hard and you have to come kind of come up with these miracle attacks to, to pull off some of these three star attacks now when everything goes your way and you manage to pull off a 3 star attack, I, I may have 7 ba baby dragons left over and I might attack the same exact base because anyone who's up there in Builder Hall 5, Builder Hall 6, they know that they have a lot of the same bases. People know what work and what works and they, they're building the same base over and over. But I may attack that same base that we've all seen and 3 star it and have 5 ba baby dragons left or then I might 54% it because They've moved things around just a tiny bit. So, point being is, watch the replays. Watch every replay. Um, it's, it's actually really cool. You can see how he just... I just what the just barges in whenever it wants to, doesn't it? Yeah, I had the spectator, and I'll do the same thing. If I get my, done with my attack first, we can watch the other attack now. And uh, so now I've actually watched these... I don't know how they're doing it, because... I can't pull it off, but they, I've been three-starred twice with these bombers. I mean, since when does a bomber three-star a Builder Hall 5? <laughs> They'll attack you with a bunch of giants and archers, and they wipe out most of the base, and the next thing you know, you got these two bombers going across the back side of the base, and uh, they outrange all the rest of the of the defenses. They outrange the crusher, and then I have a couple other air defenses left, and they end up three-starring me. Not only do they three-star me, but they take every damn wall out, so there's not one ditch of anything left on the base. And I know they're screenshotting it and laughing at me. Pisses me off. So, here's another attack on. I believe this right here was also a Builder Hall 6. I see that uh, the fire thing kind of raining fire. It's a, it's a waterfall of fire. So it's a, it's a firefall. <laughs> Not the greatest design. Uh, unlike your regular village your home village that a bunch of separate compartments kind of all compact is not a bad idea i really feel like on the builder base stretching everything out is a much better idea it's a lot harder to three star on these stretched out bases that have town hall in the middle or builder hall in the middle and it's just surrounded by a bunch of different uh defenses now I might feel differently about that when I actually learn how to attack with ground troops because I think I've done about a thousand attacks and about 997 of them have been with baby dragons and the other ones have been miserable fails <laughs> so uh, maybe I'll have a different feeling about it when I learn how to attack from the ground so yes it's true the end is near the website is almost done I will actually have it out in July as promised I hope so check it out it is clashmadeeasy.com uh, Sub to the channel guys We're gonna work really hard. We have about four or five months to go to the end of the year And we will have a thousand subs by then so you're gonna be you're gonna have some good company Be rubbing elbows with all of the best clashers I promise <laughs> Anyway, thank you for watching to the end. I appreciate you till next time. It's been easy. Take care everybody